How to get what you want in bed. Apply these tips, you'll get what you want. Sex doesn't always live up to our expectations of pleasure. It can sometimes feel dull, repetitive, and lacking excitement. Your partner's performance in bed may also contribute to your dissatisfaction. Communicating your desires and exploring new experiences together is key to enhancing your sexual satisfaction. Therefore, guiding your partner to fulfill your specific desires in bed is essential. Here are some strategies to help you achieve that. Take a look. 1. Show your partner. Are you finding that your partner isn't picking up on your hints about what you want? Consider demonstrating those desires yourself, directly in front of your partner. Whether it involves self-touch or playfully spanking your own buttocks, this can help your partner better understand your preferences. 2. Do it to your partner. Perhaps it's time to redirect the attention onto your partner and demonstrate precisely what actions you desire from them. By gently pulling their hair to prompt them to reciprocate, they'll quickly understand your preferences. 3. Communicate to your partner about your dislikes. Communicate your preferences to your partner, including both what you enjoy and what you're not so fond of. When discussing your dislikes, maintain a casual tone rather than a serious one to avoid causing any discomfort or upset. 4. Praise your partner. When your partner introduces a new move that brings you immense pleasure, be quick to express your praise. Words of encouragement can motivate your partner to repeat actions you enjoy. However, refrain from praising moves you don't actually desire, as this might lead them to believe otherwise. 5. Don't fake your orgasms. Cease pretending to orgasm merely to satisfy your partner. Doing so may lead them to believe they excel at pleasing you, when in reality, you're only reinforcing this misconception. Be forthright with them and explain the reasons why you're unable to reach climax. Why do men tend to date younger women? Know the reasons why. It's commonplace to observe older men socializing with younger women, often with romantic intentions. It's widely believed that older men gravitate towards dating younger women to reminisce about their youthful days. Additionally, some speculate that an older man dating a younger woman might be experiencing a midlife crisis and seeks rejuvenation through a partner with a more youthful perspective on life. Below are some factors contributing to this phenomenon. 1. The carefree approach in life. Elderly men often opt for relationships with younger women due to the latter's refreshing, distinctive, and less encumbered outlook on life. As men age, they encounter various challenges, and finding solace in the lightheartedness and youthful energy of their partners can be immensely comforting amidst life's complexities. 2. They don't want to be called out. As individuals age, they often exhibit increased assertiveness, directness, and frankness, often without concern for consequences. Older women may choose to date younger women because the latter typically refrain from challenging their habits, unlike older women who tend to do so. Similarly, older men prefer to avoid confrontations regarding their behaviors and choices. 3. Reminder of Youth With the passage of time, there's a universal desire to recapture youthfulness. Despite one's age or health condition suggesting otherwise, individuals seek experiences that evoke a sense of youthfulness. Hence, older men are drawn to vibrant, youthful women to relish the vitality and vigor reminiscent of their own youth. 4. Building Connection Typically, young women aim to establish meaningful connections alongside advancing their careers, while young men prioritize making their life's purpose impactful. As time progresses, older men often come to realize the importance of prioritizing family and cultivating relationships. It's during this realization that both young women and older men discover a mutual likeness, drawing them towards each other. 5. Sexual Intimacy Elderly men firmly believe that younger women excel in bed. They perceive these women as capable of wholeheartedly enjoying sex, with the added benefits of enhanced flexibility and spontaneity compared to older counterparts. 
These phrases are signs of major red flags in a relationship. These are major red flags. Recognizing red flags in a relationship is crucial to prevent potential emotional or physical harm. Red flags signify negative characteristics in a person, such as tendencies towards manipulation, excessive anger, and pessimism. Partners displaying these red flags can significantly complicate your life, leading to frequent experiences of hurt, betrayal, and disappointment. If your partner utters the following phrases listed, they serve as major warning signs of red flags. Stay vigilant. 1. Being too nice when they need something. Hey, you're looking stunning tonight. By the way, I was wondering if I could borrow your car. If your partner only shows kindness or engages in pleasant conversation when they require something from you, it's an indication that they aren't primarily concerned about your feelings. Instead, they simply value you for the benefits you provide. 2. Bringing other people to a date. Your partner might view your kindness as a chance to use your finances, frequently inviting their friends along to outings meant for just the two of you. They perceive your difficulty in saying no as openings to exploit you for their benefit. 3. Insensitive jokes. Relax, I was just kidding. If your partner makes insensitive jokes about you and then criticizes you for feeling hurt, it's a significant warning sign. Your partner should be the one uplifting you and making you feel good about yourself, not causing distress. 4. Taking advantage of you. Could you assist me in securing a job at your father's company? Your partner might view you as a means to advance their career, seeing you merely as a tool to achieve their goals and aspirations. In this scenario, they demonstrate little genuine concern for you or the relationship. 5. Being busy always. I can't message you when I'm occupied. If your partner consistently fails to prioritize spending time with you and frequently attributes their absence to their hectic agenda, it strongly suggests that they're not willing to invest additional effort into being with you. They will continue to offer excuses for their absence and immerse themselves in their demanding schedules. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.